Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me. This is video two, um, or I guess part two of um, an Azure related video. Yesterday's video was our Azure haul that um, ended up actually being for April. Um, my entire family was sick and has been for about the last two weeks. And so I just finally got around to making a video about what we got. Um, our neighbor actually ended up picking up our order for us because we were just not well enough to um, go out for the drop and pick it up. So the first part of this video, I am going to um, just kind of have a frank conversation about how Azure works, um, how their company um, kind of runs things. I know that a lot of people are getting really discouraged because they put things in their cart and then they're not shipped. And I don't think that the there is an understanding of how um, they run their business. Um, it's not like a traditional grocery store. Um, so um, even with all of that being said, I still um, enjoy the values that Azure has. It's a family run company um, and their values are in line with our family values. And so they are still someplace that I'm going to continue to purchase our goods from. And I'll go into a little bit of how um, I kind of manage that for our family as well. So uh, the first thing is that Azure um, is a company that is um, does not incur debt. So why is this important? Well, if you think about how like a standard grocery store works, they buy, I'm going to use simple numbers, they buy 10 heads of lettuce. And then they wait for 10 people to come buy those 10 heads of lettuce. Well, what if only eight people come and buy those heads of lettuce? Then they're out the cost of two heads of lettuce. Azure, on the other hand, they buy, say, eight heads of lettuce and maybe 10 people want the lettuce. Well, that is where the um, out of stock notices in your cart and your order has been shipped incomplete, that's where those things come from. Azure is not going to hold on to um, a product that may be in your cart because you may or may not order it, if that makes sense. So they don't want to incur debt. Um, so the fastest that they get that off of the shelves and into people's orders um, the better for them in the long run. So that means that on what seems to be now a more regular basis, um, things go out of stock. In my order for April, um, I had ordered a bunch of different kinds of beans, um, and I didn't get any except garbanzo beans and lentils. Uh, so I just ordered those beans, placed an order for next month, so May, um, and added them to my cart. If they don't ship again, maybe I'll change the quantity. Maybe I'll change the size. Maybe I'll change... You, you have to kind of be playing a little bit of a game with them um, to figure out what is most important. So I had this issue with sugar. 25 pounds, pound bag of sugar, never shipped, never shipped, never shipped. I finally ordered a five pound bag to get me through, and then I ended up ordering sugar or, um, well, buying sugar from Costco because that was what I had available. So I don't ever want to run out of something. So the way that I tend to order with Azure, because I know that things don't always ship, is I'll do my rolled oats, for example. I, roll, I order rolled oats 25 pounds at a time. So that takes up two five-gallon buckets in my garage. Um, when the first bucket is done is when I add 25 pounds of rolled oats to my next Azure order. If it ships, great. I have time to freeze it. I have time to use up the rest of the oats and then, um, I refill my buckets. If it doesn't ship, it gives me this little bit of a buffer. I, I hate seeing all of the negative comments, especially on social media about, oh, well, Azure didn't ship this. Well, there is one way to guarantee that you get your order um, shipped and um, as long as it's in stock when, when you place that order, and that is to ship freight. 
So it's gonna cost a significantly um, a higher price because you are paying all of the freight shipping from Oregon. So if you live in Oregon, that may not be a huge cost. But for me in Colorado, that's a that's a hefty cost. Um, instead of my eight point, I think it's eight point five percent shipping costs, it's going to be pretty substantial. So that is an option, um, and um, you can choose to ship that way instead of. Um, going through the drops and that will guarantee that whatever items are in your cart you are going to get. So if you have additional questions about how Azure runs their company um, and um, why things are going out of stock or why hey I, I placed my order but um, you know XYZ didn't ship I'm happy to try to explain that uh, a little in a little different way um, but for the most part that's that's how it's going to work probably for the foreseeable future. They are one company um, and they are doing the best they can for, um, but they also have a ton of new customers because people are seeing prices in grocery stores go up so much. So give them a break and um, just remember that we are all going to get through this. So now I'm going to switch the video. Um, so that you can see what my screen looks like. Um, I <clears throat> took a screenshot of um, how to lock in your sales prices to ensure that you are getting the best deal possible from Azure. So that you know that I'm not like making this up and um, you know taking people for their money. So, um, <clears throat> so right here, um, this is um, their product pricing and billing page. You can find this link if you scroll all the way down. Um, the pricing and billing info under the Azure links. You just click that and it brings up this page. Um, and this is where um, you can find how to lock in your sales price to ensure the best deals. So um, I've just highlighted it here. Um, and sales prices on products are effective for orders that are added to your shopping cart and checked out checked out during the dates of the sale. That checked out is really, really important because if you don't check out your cart, that sale price doesn't stay there. And if I go to my orders page, you can view those uh, or you can edit. So we're gonna edit um, and this is my order for June. So I have a bunch of things in my cart already. Um, I'm gonna delete this and I'm actually gonna remake this order with you right now so that you can see um, how this kind of works. So um, you go to the orders tab under my account. Um, when you click my account, it automatically goes to the drop. So you don't want to add a new drop unless you don't like your drop. Maybe your drop coordinator is a little, well, rough around the edges like mine. Um, but on the left hand side, you're going to see the order tab and you're going to click new order. Now, here's where I said that you can guarantee that you get your items. Instead of pickup, which is what I just clicked, you can choose delivery, and that is gonna give you a freight option for delivery to directly to your house. But we're not gonna do that right now. So I now have this order. Uh, it's a brand new order, and um, it is for June. So I'm gonna add something that is currently, or well, was on sale, um, and it's this cheesecloth. It, it, it was currently out of stock, so it didn't ship in my uh, April order. So I've now added it to my cart. So I now have gone to my cart. Now I have $94 worth of items, which means that I'm above that order fee, and I'm going to place the order. Placing the order is the most important part. I... Because if you do not place that order, those sales items and those sales prices do not get locked in. They are only locked in with a placed order during the sale. So down here at the bottom, um, the lime juice and lemon juice is currently on sale. So you see that little sale tag. But this cream of mushroom soup, it was on sale, I want to say two months ago. 
Um, so click it. The current price of this is $35. The price of the exact same thing in my cart currently is $25 and change. Same thing with the Desert Essences. Desert Essences products were on sale two months ago. They went out of stock, so I added them to future orders. So this jojoba oil right now is $12 and change, but in my cart, it is showing $10. And because I haven't changed anything to those specific items, so I can add and delete things, but if I, de if I delete one of those items, the sales price disappears. It goes to the current price. So these are the hot dogs that we just got. We're gonna try these, um, but I put them into my cart at the sales price. So right now, a case is $50. Um, sale price is 47. So I hope that this kind of shows you how you can lock in sales prices I hope that you found this information beneficial. I absolutely love Azure Standard and I love that I can lock in sales prices. Even if something goes out of stock when the sale is still going on, I add it to my cart for future orders and make sure that I get those orders finalized and then I lock in that sales price. And then it also gives me a couple months to choose, do I really want this item? Do I not want this item? Do I want to spend this money right now? Do I not want to spend this money? But I'm locked in with the sales price, which is helping to keep the cost of my items and the food that I purchase for my family uh, at a lower price point than it may be in the future. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.